Welcome to the Virtual Realms YouTube channel. I'm Ranger One. Today I have a video featuring the M60 Patton, which is a very, very good tank with a very bouncy front, lots of armor, a good gun. Its only real drawback is it's slow, which sometimes can turn around and bite you. I'll show you what I mean. Driver crank it. Step one, we need to get to the combat. I'm fortunate this round, I've got some excellent scouts heading in my direction. Ravnican 127 is off to my right. Whiskey Tits is off to my left. And Apache Gunner's pressing on ahead. In the distance I can see Sergeant Mahoney in a T-62. And beyond him, there's another T-62, uh, driven by an individual named Tulips. These are going to be the problem. Since I have excellent spotting this round, I'm thinking that I'm going to not press it as hard as I can directly into the teeth of oncoming fire. I'm going to use this really good gun and do a bit of long distance sniping. First target, that BMP. The snapshot takes him down. I'm going to pull back from the return fire and see if I can maneuver for a better shot on some of the larger tanks over there. Oh, he just barely pulled back out of the way in time. Let's scan for another shot. Nothing presents itself right away. I'm going to move forward until I can get another shot at Peabody. Target locked. Somehow that missed as well, but we're going to keep trying. He's very low on health and he's under suppressing fire. I'm able to lay a good shot into him that time. But before I can reload, my scouts do their job and take him down. AMX 10Ps are very effective lightweight vehicles. And before I started sniping, I noticed that one of my scouts, Whiskey Tits, had gotten badly injured and has fallen back a little closer to my position. I, on the other hand, am going to have to move forward because I'm not getting the shots that I want. There's too much cover between me and them. I'm going to do so cautiously though, because if I get caught out in the open, I don't have the speed to get back to cover in a timely fashion. That guy died before I had a chance to fire, which is unfortunate. You go, Whiskey Tits. Lay down some suppressing fire. There's Tulips. And there's Sergeant Mahoney. Target, Maybe able to get a shot now. I can just barely see the top of his turret. I'm going to see if I can clip his cupola. Just glancing off the top. We'll try that one more time. Target, mark. Whiskey Tits is charging forward. We lost one of our other scouts. And he's attempting to compensate, but he gets a little too close. I'm going to try and cover him. I missed that shot too. This is not starting out well. Sniping is not working out for me in this situation, and my scouts are getting in trouble over there. And Whiskey Tits is taken down. Trying to spot for me so I can snipe. Target lost. That's not gonna fly. My scouts are doing a good job. I let them down. And I make up my mind right then and there that I'm going to redress that situation. I'm gonna make sure I don't get blown away on the way over. That my side is not exposed to enemy fire. And we're just gonna go for it. Straight forward, dead ahead. I've got one scout left, Reticulin. And he's very good too. 
He's very good at staying alive, and that's what I need, because it's going to take me a little bit of time to close. But close I am. Sergeant Mahoney is the closest enemy tank. And I set my sights on him. Sergeant Mahoney is down. Tulips had opened fire on me as well, but he was coming up short. Now I'm going to make sure he comes up even shorter. Reticulin is going to be my hound. He's going to reacquire Tulips as he tries to evade over there and hide amongst the rugged foothills. I suspect he's gone down to the frozen river. We'll find out for sure. Reticulin's on the case. And he spots him. He's at the foot of the dam. Perfect. Hello, tulips. Vesley managed to put the last shot into him a split second before I fired, and that's okay. My intention was to make sure Tulips died. I don't really care who delivers the killing blow. But up ahead, the situation is starting to look a little bit grim, so I need to stop bragging in local chat and get my butt in gear. Luco, with four kills, is ahead of me. Starcraft with one kill is to the right. Rabbiting is heading back to his base. Pursue, but Starcraft and Rover One and a Scorpion are closing in from the right. goes down but I have just used the last discard sable round I've got. It's just heat from now on and this is the shot that loses the match. I can't get my turret around fast enough and Rover 1, low on hit points and easy kill, manages to just slip by me before I can repair my tracks. That's unfortunate but I can't do anything about it because A I can't catch him and B Luko's making some sort of move over by the base. I've got one friendly T-62 that's still operational, and we have two M-60 Pattons over by the base. Their best player, Luco, and Thelonious Monk. 
I'm going to head toward the base and hope that the T-62 heads towards our base, but that's not to be. I spot Luthil making a break toward the city again, and I move to corner. And my teammate Bo heads toward their base to engage Thelonious Monk. Remember, all I've got is the low penetration heat rounds, and although I didn't know it at the time, Luko's in the same boat, which leads to an interesting and unusual situation. Frontal shots aren't going to cut it in this fight. It's going to boil down to who can outmaneuver the other. I'm lucky. My timing was on the money. And I was able to get in the finishing blow before he was able to do the same to me. But now, because my teammate decided to go for what he considered to be the bigger threat, and I understand his reasoning, we're out of position to go back and defend our base. I am far too slow to get there, which is unfortunate. Bove, on the other hand, in his T-62, might just be quick enough to make it there in time. I'm going to follow along. Perhaps I can get to a position to force the Scorpion driver, Rover 1, to make a mistake, but it's not looking good at this point. Remember what I said the main weakness was of the Patton? Yes, it's slow speed. If it were just a little bit quicker, we might have been able to pull this one out. Isn't it odd that in Armored Warfare of all games, quite often my best and most exciting games are the ones that I end up ultimately losing. But I really don't care. This was a fun match, and it had a series of interesting and good fights, albeit it had a bit of a slow start. I'm tempted to give up at this point, but I decide I might as well press on. You never know how things are going to turn out. I'll put my faith in Bo that against the odds he can get up there and pin down the more maneuverable Scorpion. And he tries. He gives it his best shot. And he is actually going to manage to make it up into the cap circle before the timer runs out. But Rover 1 is a canny Scorpion driver. Scorpions are an excellent, maneuverable, fast armored fighting vehicle and he's going to be able to outmaneuver Bo long enough to seal the deal. I don't begrudge it to him at all. He did an excellent job, and we just caught, got caught out of position. So, salute to you, Rover One. You did well. And until I see you folks again, good hunting. Thanks for watching. I hope you were entertained. If you liked the video, please remember to subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And I'll see you next time.